What's up guys, it's Hanifi and today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to retouch skin with one click. So let's get started with the video. What's up guys, Hanifi here. Before, before you continue with this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And also turn on my notifications to be notified whenever I drop a new video. Now, in this video, um, I'm going to be showing you guys a little technique that you can use to um, smooth skin with one click in Photoshop. Now, this should work on any version of Photoshop as long as you have the plugin. The plugin I'm going to be using for this is called um, Portraiture. You can download it online. I'll put a link in the description below. You can purchase the software and use it for quick retouching. Nice, kind of like a little review of the um, plugin and to tell you guys the pros and cons of using this method for skin retouching. Now, first of all, I'm just going to have the picture layer ready, so I'm just going to go over ahead to the um, plugin and show you guys how everything works. Now, after installing the plugin, move over to filter, move over to dimensionomic, over to picture three. You wait a bit for the plugin to load and then um right now once you open the plugin it will be set to um default occasionally it's usually set to default a default setting is basically the it does all this skin smoothing for you as you can see it does all the skin smoothing for you and all that so you can regulate it how you want you can um we can always use the default settings here yeah, but i'm just going to move it to um medium where it smoothens the skin and it's okay so i'm going to increase the fine a bit reduce yeah reduce the large a bit mm, smoothing reduce the bit okay so if you want to select the skin tone, if you want to let the portrait channel what part of the skin tone you are, you want to, what parts of the skin you want to smoothen, move over to this color picker here or this picking tool, I guess. Then you kind of like just click on the part of the skin. Usually, like automatically detects skin color and does it for you. But you can always, if portrait doesn't always get it right, you can um like click the part of the skin you want to smoothen out. I need to do that for you. When you're done with that, you click OK. Now, as you can see, guys, like portraiture has done most of the work. But the downside about this is that it would affect some. Um, let me show you a little bit fun after. It will affect some edges and the smoothing doesn't. It doesn't always look great. So it kind of like messes with the details and all that. So. I'd have to fix this a bit. You'd have to like hold alternate and click on your mask. So and then you switch your brush to like the uh, white brush. So this way you can use masks to like select the part of the skin you want to be smooth. Like that is very easy. Just select like part of the skin you want to be smooth. Just draw all over the positive skin to be smooth. So this way you are this way you could like choose what part of the skin you want smoothen and then you could like um do it better since most times portraiture doesn't always do a great job at like choosing the right parts to smoothen and always sometimes it will like affect the background as well because the skin is made up of yellows and red and orange so when it's like affects it sometimes most times now affects the background so like if there's anything yellow or red around most times it affects it so in order to do that you have to like mask it out and then draw over the part of the skin once smoothen now as you can see that's like in few minutes in a few seconds or in a few minutes i'm already done with the um smoothing of the skin so it's a really cool technique to use to like smoothen skin and all that but the downside is 
there isn't it doesn't leave much skin texture in the end so i would only advise you to use a um, portraiture when you're working with an image that's like further away i wouldn't advise you to use portraiture when you're working with a close-up image because it doesn't always do the best job for that in that case so um as you can see in this image the skin has been smoothened it's like a very quick way you want to be like be real quick with it and it's an image that you can expose to it then you can go ahead if you don't really care about skin texture and all that which you should care about you can go ahead and um use portraiture but if you really want to retain texture in the image speed which i will advise you to you should um use frequent separation that's all for this video if you love this video make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this i'll see you guys in the next one bye